Yo, what is up people? Fallout 4 is finally here. It has been a really long wait for this one, but I cannot wait to play it. And uh, I'm not going to hang around. We're going to jump straight into this. Let's get into the video. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war War never changes. Pretty awesome opening scene War there. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hun. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Okay, so this allows us to, uh, Customize the different faces. This is pretty cool, actually. Skinhead. Hmm. Uh. Oh, this is a hard decision. I think this guy looks pretty dapper. There are a lot of options here. I'm gonna customize this. I want to make him look good. If we're gonna do a full playthrough of this game, I want to have a, uh, a cool-looking dude. Okay. What I'm gonna go for is this guy. I think this guy looks pretty cool. I'm going to go for that. Uh, change the face. What can we do? Okay, people. So, beard-wise, I'm actually going to give him the chopper. Uh, I think he looks pretty dapper with the moustache. We're going to go for that. Facial hair like that. I think he looks pretty cool like this. Uh, do I want to change the eyebrows? Do I, want to... I might just change the hair a little bit. See what different options I can get. And then we'll be on our way. Slick back. Yeah, I think he looks pretty cool like this. Slick back hair, yeah. Oh, a top knot. Okay, this guy looks. This guy looks like a madman. Yes, let's yeah, go for this. This new haircut's really working for me. <laughs> These options. Okay, and we can change it. I'm thinking of deep brown, maybe something like that. Jet black, graying, steel gray, gray, bleached. Uh, I think we'll go brown, somewhat like the hair that I have, dark brown. Nice haircut. I think it looks pretty cool like this. Okay. 
think that is our guy. Well, that's the face done. Hey. We'll, what do you think? We'll leave uh, it at that. Roguishly handsome or handsomely roguish? <laughs> These lines. Okay, and then we will do his body. Muscular, thin. Okay, currently he's massive. So that just makes him huge. Thin. Okay, so we can make him really scrawny or really fat. So I reckon. Okay, something like this. Perfect. That is what we're going to go for. And then extras. Not sure what optional extras we can get. Let's have a look. Markings, bonuses, damage. Okay, so there are the different ones where he's like, been hit. I reckon we'll go somewhere near the top and we'll just have a little scar like that. Lip gouges, yes. I think he looks serious if we do this. Left along. That's quite a big one. We'll give him a little scar like this. Oh, that's the face I fell in love with. But anyway, I'm going to leave that. I think he looks cool with the scar. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll keep that. But let's power through. Yes. Okay, awesome. So now we can walk around the house, which uh, we have seen in the trailer. Looks like this is our baby. Let's play with the baby. We can spin this uh, crib. And then we can walk around the house, which is pretty awesome. This is all the stuff that we've seen in the trailer, and it looks crazy. I can activate the radio. Deactivate it. This book, open the drawers. Can't actually open the drawers. But, uh, and this is our robot. Oh, your coffee. 173.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Rule to perfection. And today's newspaper just delivered. Awesome, let's talk to Codswell. Okay, so these are all the different things that we can have. Sugar bombs, 100% daily value of sugar. Looks like the milk got delivered. So there are all these different things, and here's the TV. Hey, hon. Wow, look at you. Not a girl like me ever gets so lucky, huh? Ooh. I seemed a little bit mean. You know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. Okay. So we've done all this sort of stuff. Can we go outside? No, we can't. Okay. Good old USA. Let's go the American flag. I'm just going to wander around here for a little bit. See what we can do. Close and open the door when I want to go to the toilet. Enjoy your coffee, sir. And the baby is still here. Can you get that? It's probably that salesman. He comes for you every day. Okay, so we've got to go to the door again. It looks like this is going to be the vault guy. Good morning, vault tech calling. Go on. Go on. Nice to find you, sir. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Mm, urgency? What's so important? We'll be inquisitive. Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, sir, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid, and coming sooner than you may think, if you catch my meaning. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, uh, mm -hmm, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault. One eleven. Okay, sounds great. Enough space. We'll ask. We'll, we'll be inquisitive. For my entire family, right? Of course, of course. Miner's your robot, naturally. In fact, 
You're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Don't want there to be any holdups in the unforeseen event of <laughs> total atomic annihilation. <laughs> Won't take but a moment. This guy is a bit of a madman. Uh, tell me, or yes, I'll just sure. say yes. Let's do it. Splendid. Splendid. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see. Okay, so 21 points. Ooh, this is going to be a hard decision. I'm going to go with, give myself a fair amount of strength. I'll give myself five strength. Um, good charisma. So I'm going to go seven charisma. Five intelligence. A couple on luck. A few on agility. And one on endurance, one on perception. I think that's the best way I want to do it. I think charisma is the way to go. Give me one second. Okay, yeah, I think I'm going to stick with this. That looks about right. I think the strength will be helpful. Luck will be good. Agility will also be good. Okay, let's do this. And my name is. Tell us your name. Put my name as Bernie. Okay. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Sir, Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. <laughs> okay, so let's have a go and look up the baby. Don't worry. Play with this little guy. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. I'm going to spin this as well. Seems like he's not crying anymore. This is pretty good. He's a happy baby. Happy hey, baby. How's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Mmm, watch TV and said sounds fun. Yeah, let's go to the park. Yeah, sounds go and like explore. Fun. Sir? Mum? You should come and see this! Codsworth? What's wrong? Okay, looks like there's something going on. Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. Sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with our affiliate stations. We do, oh, we no. do have. We do have coming in. That's um. Confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh, okay. Jeez. We, we need to get to the vault now. I've got Sean. Let's go. So this is uh, bad news. This is what is happening. That we're being nuked in New York or all over America. And I guess this is the beginning of all the Fallout games. Or not quite, if I'm being accurate. But it's getting very serious. And everyone is running. So imagine if this really happened, how scary it would be. It's actually a real thing. Running to vaults in order to like stay away from the nuclear attack is terrifying. If you're in the vault program, head to the gate. It's absurd. Hey, I'm not on the list. Set. You don't get I'm in. Going in. There. You can't serve. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Can I'm not going in. Okay, the guys in the power armor if you're are pretty in the program, crazy. Step forward, otherwise return home. Well, the guy who just sold us the membership isn't let in, so that's pretty intense. Pretty unlucky. You need to get in. We're on the list. We're 
infant, adult male, God, adult die. female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Okay, look at these guys. What's gonna happen to all those people outside the gate? That's kind of awesome. Look at that power armor. So, where are we gonna go? Gotta follow these guys. She's running like crazy with the baby. Look at these planes. Keep going. This way. We gotta stand on the vault plate. Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god! Hold on! We did it. We made it. Okay, geez, so we su survived that blast. Very close, though. Everyone, please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. We left hey, no, no, elevator. don't get caught up thinking so about that. Slow. You're safe now. Everyone, just head up these stairs and through the door there. Okay, so looks like a lot of people were left outside and died. So, don't think anyone here is particularly happy that uh, they're in here, but I guess this is our survival. She's there with a the baby. Okay, well, here you are. Head down the hall. Right over there. Just step over to the table. Gloves are good. My neighbor looks pretty grumpy. Right My other neighbor place. also does. <laughs> over there. Take a suit. So we gotta get a Vault 111 uniform. Take a Vault suit, then head down the hall. Welcome to Vault 111. I'm sure you'll feel right at home in no time. Can you imagine You'll living underground? Can take you further. Are you gonna move out of the way, mister? I'm gonna get my suit as well. Uh, thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. Alright, you three. Excuse me. Follow me. It's down the hallway right there. Okay, so we're gonna go down here. This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Everything we had. My mother and father Sir? down in D.C. Oh, God, honey. How long what if they didn't make it? Down here? I know this is oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. Just checking everyone off the list as they come in. Look at this. Living underground. It's so pretty sophisticated. Hey there. Just this way. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Okay, so you gotta get in the decontamination pod. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. Time for a whole new life. Do you imagine being trapped in one of these things? It'd be so creepy. 
this is the one. Here. Open it. Wait, what is happening? No, 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 no. I'm not giving you shot. Oh my god. So geez, our wife's just been shot. That is not good. get her out oh this is not good so our wife's basically stuck in there and we can't do anything about it okay so we gotta get out of here we can run now but uh, they've taken our baby inaccessible can we go through this one okay just gonna keep running get rid of these bugs rad roaches to attack. Okay. So we can take the meat. Giant roaches? What the hell? What's this thing doing? I can just keep punching it. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Okay. How is it still? Okay, so I can take meat from it. Uh, then, is there anywhere else that we need to go? Keep. We need to go somewhere through here. There we go. Keep running along. But we are working our way out of the vault. L2 to block. Oh, another one. There's loads of these things. And then we can go through this door. I think we're basically running running out of the vault. Don't know how much it's actually worth taking meat from these rab roaches. But uh, I'm going to do it anyway, just in case you need it. Terminal somewhere. Okay. Unlocks terminal. So there we go, people. I'm going to end it up there um, for the first episode. The next one's going to be coming straight away after this one, so don't worry. It's not going to be a long wait at all. Uh, just going to make them slightly short so the upload time isn't too bad. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and uh, subscribe for loads more Fallout. I've got a lot of Black Ops 3 on my channel as well, so make sure to check all of them out. They'll be linked in the description. But uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys very soon in the next episode.